Formal training was pretty much learned from everybody. Just before my 13th birthday, um, I sat down behind a drum set for the first time and I just saw one at this dude's house and I was like, oh, I, I wanna try it, you know? So I just leaned against the wall and like propped myself down and just started playing some time. And I, I didn't know if that was normal or not normal. I didn't care. It was just what I felt. And that day told my parents, I gotta, I wanna play the drums. I want a drum set. My dad took us to our grandma's house who lived across the street and uh, he goes, oh, she wants to say happy birthday, you guys, go over there. And then he like kind of just like, oh, oh, she's in the back bedroom. And there was this Tama rock star, gun metallic gray, big ass toms, like big metal drums, five piece kit and just a ride and a pair of hi-hats. That's what I started with. My buddy Marcello, he hit me to Weckle and Vinny and Dennis and all the fusion legends and then another buddy of mine got me into straight ahead jazz and this is you know I'm all 13 14 15 so at the same time me and my brother were playing by ear stuff by Primus early chili peppers fishbone those were like our favorite Mr. Bungle those were our favorite bands but then I got into straight ahead which just took my, my playing and approach to a whole nother level. And watching Buddy Rich, watching Elvin Jones, anybody that I felt like I could learn something from, I, I took advantage of that opportunity. Getting into Jamaican music was another huge influence for me. At the same time, having jazz, like it, it wasn't ever like I'm only studying this for two years, then I'm gonna get into this for two. It was just everything all at the same time. But groove music was huge. I'm a workaholic. I, I love to work, I love to stay busy and it's also what I love doing. 